What's up guys? So in this video we're going to talk about how to find the degree of a polynomial when it's in factored form. And the way I'm going to go about this video is it's just going to be pure examples. So given this polynomial in factored form, what would be the degree of it? What would be, if you expanded it, what would be the highest exponent attached to the x variable? Well, what you do is you just literally count the x's and the brackets. So in this case, the degree would be 3 because there's an x here, an x here, an x here, and if you FOIL it, the highest exponent attached to the variable x would be 3. Now for our next example, what if we took this same polynomial and attached to the 2x plus 3 we squared it and then the 3x minus 1 we squared it as well. What would be the degree then? Well if you think about it we could rewrite that polynomial function as 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 so we write these out twice times x minus 4 times 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. We wrote out the 3x minus 1 twice as well. And then it's just the same thing that we did before. We just count the x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the degree would be 5 if we expanded this. So you don't actually have to write this out like that. You can just, whenever you see a square outside or any kind of exponent outside of this bracket, you just take whatever x is inside and you know that there's going to be two x's there. So 2, 1, 2, that adds up to 5. Next example, 2x plus 3 to the power of 10, x minus 4 to the power of 5, 3x minus 1 to the power of 7. So, we're not going to write all of these out because that would take us forever like we did here, but we can just sort of count the exponents. So we know that there's going to be 10 x's from this bracket alone because it's x to the power of 1 to the power of 10. So 10 5x is here, so 10 plus 5 plus 7. So the degree here would be 22. We don't have to write this out and then count them individually. Now for the next example, we have 2x squared plus 3, and that's squared. Then we have x minus 4 to the power of 5, and then 3x cubed minus 1 to the power of 2. So I just added these exponents, 2x squared and 3x cubed. What would happen then is this bracket has a degree of 2, but if you square it, so if you were to take these and multiply them and FOIL it out, this would have a degree of 4 because it would be 2 squared. This here would still have a degree of 5 because we'd write x minus 4 5 times. So that would be to the power of 5. And then this here would have a degree of 6 because 3x cubed minus 1 times 3x cubed minus 1. What would happen is if we FOIL this, the leading term would be 9x to the power of 6 if we multiply 3x cubed times 3x cubed. So we know the degree of this here is 6. And the way that we did that, if you want to write it out in a nicer way, we took this x squared and then we took it to the power of 2 and that would give us x to the power of 4. This here was x to the power of 1 and we took it to the power of 5 so you multiply the uh, exponents there so that would be x to the power of 5. This here was x cubed squared, multiply the exponents, so we'd have x to the 6. So degree of 4, degree of 5, degree of 6, and then all we have to do is just add them up. So 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. So we know this has a degree of 15. Next example, we have 2x to the power of 10 plus 3 to the power of 7, x squared minus 4 to the power of 3, 3x minus 1 to the power of 11. So these numbers are pretty crazy actually to deal with. So as we did up here, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the x term, the highest x term, so x to the power of 10, and we're taking it to the power of 7. This x term, so x squared, we're taking it to the power of 3, and then this x term is to the power of 1, and we're taking it to the power of 11. So multiplying these out, 10 times 7, x to the 70, this is x to the 6, this is x to the 11. So if we expanded 
this uh, bracket here, so if we wrote this bracket out seven times and then foiled it, we would end up with a degree of 70. Doing the same with this bracket, we would end up with a degree of 6. And then for this bracket, we would end up with a degree of 11. So if we add these up, 70 plus 6 plus 11, so that would be, what, 87? So the degree of this polynomial here, if we were to expand it, would be 87. Let's do a couple of more here. So we got negative 3x times x plus 4 to the power of 3 times 2x squared minus 2x to the power of 4. So notice how there's this new x added in front. And that's just the same as negative 3x plus 0. It's just another bracket. Treat it as another bracket. So it's another x that's going to be added. Um, so this here would have a degree of 1. This here, x plus 4 to the power of 3, it would just be x to the power of 1 to the power of 3. So if we multiply those, we know that the degree would be 3 of that. And then here is a new situation as well where we're just given x squared and an x value. What do we do when there's multiple x values in a bracket? Really simple, all we do is we deal with the highest exponent in the bracket. So all we do is we still take this x squared and we take it to the power of 4. So that would give us a degree of 8 when we multiply these. And then we just add these up, 1 plus 3 plus 8, so the degree is equal to 12. So one more time, whenever there's an x in front, just an x by itself, that's just a degree of 1. But let's say this was squared or to the power of any exponent, then the degree here would be 2. So just treat it the same way as, uh, or you can think about it as x plus 0 to the power of whatever is there. So that had a degree of 1. This we know how to deal with, pretty simple. Whenever you're given multiple x values in a bracket and you're finding the degree of the whole polynomial, all you have to do is deal with the highest exponent. So the x squared was the highest exponent because this x is to the power of 1. And then you take it to the power of 4. That gives us 8. Add them up. Degree is 12. And our final example, negative 5x cubed times 3 minus x squared times 3x squared plus 5x minus 4 to the power of 4. So, this here, this x is like x plus 0 to the power of 3. So it's like x to the power of 1 to the power of 3. So we know that this just has a degree of 3. Here, the, uh, the x value has a uh, degree of 1 in the bracket. So it would be x to the power of 1 to the power of 2. So this here has a degree of 2 when we multiply the exponents. And then this bracket here, remember what I talked about uh, in the previous example, you take the highest uh, exponent, so the x squared, and that's going to be to the power of 4. So we know that this whole term here will have a degree of 8. So we got a degree of 3 from here, we have a degree of 2 from here, and we have a degree of 8 from here. Add these up, 3 plus 2 plus 8. So the degree of this polynomial would be 13. So, bunch of examples, maybe rewatch the video if you didn't get all that the first time. But uh, yeah, that's how you find the degree of a polynomial function when it's in factored form. It's very important that you know how to do so because we're going to be using it when we're graphing these.